You see, we are part of our Heavenly Father's goodness. We're part of his love and kindness. We're part, parties in his creativity, in his creation. He delights in having us contribute, not just doing it all himself. He loves his family, doing it together, creating the most wonderful, wonderful, wonderful outcomes. And that is our joy and his joy, that we are in fellowship with each other, a delight to each other, an absolute joy. That is the goodness of God in all of us. We are children of God, heirs to the loveliness that we are making together. Absolutely lovely, wonderful, good, so good. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You might be doing some task together with your family. You know, it might be your boys helping you solve something with the car, or you might be painting the house together, or you might be trimming the hedge together, and you're chatting away, and you're cooperating, you're in uh, harmony, um, sort of, is the word almost symbiotic uh, movements with each other. You, you, you fit. There's a harmony, there's a fellowship, there's a, a beautiful interaction. And really the task itself is irrelevant. I mean, the house you're painting will fall down eventually or you'll sell it or something, you know, and the hedge will be just as long next year. <laughs> <laughs> and the car, well, uh, that can go wrong any time sort of thing. <laughs> Do you see, that's not what it's about. What it's about is the sheer joy of doing it together, and the fellowship and the nearness, the oneness. How much more with God? How much more with the children of God who are enlightened and understand what's happening, and know the sheer joy, the creation, the creation, the creation's irrelevant. God's creation is irrelevant. It's simply, it's, it's the practice, it's the, it's, it's the, the, the excuse for interacting together and being one and loving and delighting in each other's company, uh, joy, joy and happiness and sharing and such appreciation of each other that grows. Real bonding, if you like. Real bonding. That's what it's about. The actual outcome of the creation. Well, <laughs> end of time, he'll roll it up. He might decide to start again. Let's have another shot. Let's do something different. Only we're talking about God on a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic scale. You know, I mean, the person of God is just, there's no way of, no way of referring to it. And we too, you'd be astonished who you are as a being. Absolutely astonished. We are the children of God. That's just... <laughs> it's mind-blowing, isn't it? <laughs> what you are becoming. Staggering. Someone who can relate fully with our Heavenly Father as an adult. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you, Heavenly Father. Love you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You see the real creation 
is not this fantastic universe. It's the spiritual person and persons, the, the family of God. That's what counts. And this, hang on a sec, this heavenly host of harmony of individuals that just love and care for all. All that God loves and cares for, all that God loves and makes and does. That's the real meaning, purpose, goal. That's what it's really about. It's not building a universe. Houses can come and go. It's this amazing, wonderful fellowship with God and all. Fantastic. Absolutely, wonderfully fantastic. Thank you, Heavenly Father. <laughs>